Okay, we're going to focus on multiplying fractions in this question. I've been given three terms. We have 5 times, or 5 divided by 3, or 5 over 3 as a fraction, times 3 times negative 8. Now remember what I said in the last example, it'll probably be easiest if we're working with a fraction in the question to make every term a fraction. And how am I going to do that in this one? Yep, so we're going to put this as 3 over 1. And then this negative 8, how do I make that a fraction? Negative 8 over 1. Now, this negative 8 over 1, because it's a fraction, do I put the negative on top? Do I put them on the bottom? Do I put it in the middle? It actually doesn't matter, okay? As long as you only put one negative. And the reason for that... So we were talking about that negative on top, on the bottom, doesn't make a difference. Now, this is where we're going to refer to our multiplying and dividing of positive and negative terms again. So a positive divided by a positive, it's the same rules as multiplying. We'll still have a positive answer. A negative divided by a negative term will still give us a what? Negative. Positive in this case. It's when they're opposite. A negative divided by a positive or vice versa that will get a negative term. So in this question, remember fractions are technically division. That's what they mean. This really means negative 8 divided by 1. Well, this is a negative divided by a positive. So in other words, the entire answer is a negative answer. So it doesn't matter if you put the negative on the top or the bottom. Just remember that this term is negative in the end. So according to bed mass also, this is all multiplication. We're going to start from left to right. Now, there's technically a rule in multiplication where we can start wherever we like, but to make things simpler for ourselves, we're just going to always go the way that we normally read, from left to right, and we'll deal with them in pairings. So we're going to deal with the first pair, 5 over 3 times 3 over 1. In this question, when you multiply fractions, you multiply the two top terms by each other and the two bottom terms by each other. Okay, It's called the numerators and the denominators. You multiply them by each other. So, when we simplify the first pairing, 5 times 3, anyone know? Great. 15, five, or, and 3 times 1, 3. And then we're going to be multiplying by negative 8 over 1. Now, this could get confusing. Where do I put the negative when I'm doing the multiplication? Remember I said it doesn't really matter? I want you to think of this. This is a term, a positive term, this fraction here times a negative term. So our answer in the end is going to be what? We know it's going to be a negative. So sometimes it might be easier to just do that part first. Realize that we're multiplying a positive by a negative, and then just put that our answer will be either positive or negative. In this case, it's negative. And then from there, just focus on the numbers. Okay? I'll show you another way we can deal with that. And if we're focusing on the numbers, we do the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. When we do 15 by 8, we're going to get 120, I think. You've got a calculator help me out there. Yeah, 120, okay. So 15 by 8 is 120, and 3 by 1 is 3. So we have negative 120 divided by 3. We can actually divide that fraction. You can leave it like this. This is technically the right answer. But it can also be written as a whole number. Anyone know what that is? Negative 40. That's right. It's the same thing as writing negative 40. Now, I'm going to just go back up to this part here. Remember I said we could do this another way? If you're confused on dealing with the positive and negatives first, then just choose. Maybe I'll put the negative on the bottom, let's say. Negative 1 by 8. And let's actually do our multiplication this way. 15 times positive 15 times positive 8 is positive 120. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 120 divided by negative 3 is negative 40. So whether you think of them as whole terms being positive and negative, or you apply the negative to either the top or the bottom, you'll still end up at the exact same answer. Okay? Just make sure you're going through the actual multiplication division rules um, the way they're written out. 